of breastfeeding myths and have you heard in particular about myths surrounding breastfeeding twins? We are here today joined by the very, very special Dr. Robin Thompson to debunk these myths. There are so many surrounding parenting, motherhood, breastfeeding as well. Um, so we do love we do love chatting about these myths and having a good laugh about them as well, right, Robin? Well, we try. We try to put it in perspective. <laughs> we do. We do. Um, and yeah. this week, myself and Robin, we are both at separate ends of moving house. So I have just moved in and Robin is is in the packing process. So it's a bit crazy for us both. But we're really, really happy to be here with you and, and to be talking about something that is I'd so to be cool. birth to a baby. Oh, <laughs> well, if you're afraid. Yeah. I mean, packing is, is painful, isn't it? It's yeah. just... Sure, not yes. fun. So, ladies, let us know. Families, anyone watching, let us know where you're from. Do you know someone that's pregnant? Are you pregnant yourself? Um, let us know. Expecting twins. When is your estimate date? Um, let us know. Like I said, I'm joined by the very, very special Dr. Robin Thompson. Yeah. Did you want to? Did you want to kick us off by saying a kind message to those that are expecting twins surrounding breastfeeding? Oh, I'd say congratulations to all of you. How wonderful. Uh, again, it depends on the unique mother and the unique uh, situation and how she's feeling. So again, it probably might not be the same for everybody because, you know, twins carrying two babies is twice the load that you would do under normal circumstances with one baby. So, it, you know, it's a lot of, um, a lot of, it's a lot of beauty in it, a lot of excitement in it, but there's also a lot of pressure for the mum, the hard work her body does during that time during the growth of her babies yeah yeah what a special yeah. special job to do as well um i've i've recently seen a story about a lady dress feeding triplets um one yeah. of those um was an adopted baby and it is mm. a very 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 special and nurturing journey that she's been on and yeah what a very special lady she is but three healthy babies growing yes. from her body very very special and I did work work with side by side with a beautiful mother who gave birth to triplets uh, a long time ago now, uh, in my younger heyday. But uh, yeah, and and it's a beautiful time when three little babies emerge, two little babies emerge, and it's beautiful when one baby emerges. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Equally as overwhelming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so the, the principles of the Thompson Method, as we know, um, they apply with both singletons and twins and multiple babies as well. Um, you do, Dr. Robin does offer support for expecting twins, mothers who are expecting twins. Um, she actually has a lot of experience in this area. And actually there's a wealth of resources as well in the online ed education. Um, there's a number of twins, mum, including our very famous Pam Armstrong, not Pam. Oh, I do think Pamela's a bit more experienced than me. She's literally oh, experienced. I think she's probably more experienced than most of us. Most of us as well. I mean, three sets of twins. Come on, that is just that is just amazing, yes, incredible. Really is. Yeah. So yes, there is um, one of our main admins, our twin admins, um, Pam Armstrong. Like I said, has free, had had three sets of twins. She's breastfed all three, and she discovered the Thompson method and the ease that comes with that with her third set. So we'll be hearing from her a little bit later. If you'd like to hear anything more about the online education, um, the twins to a twins information we have is included in mega posts, etc., then do um, do let us know. But just before we do dive into these five myths, I just want to, and I'm sure this is this is already niggling in in your mind, Dr. Robin. I just want to set a reminder that we fully support every woman's right to choose how she feeds her precious baby. It is your That's body. Right your baby yeah. it's your choice and I know that you always like to say that Dr Robin yes. um we're not here to alienate anyone if you're choosing to breastfeed no. or you're curious and you're expecting twins this video is for you if not just enjoy our hopefully you'll enjoy our chit chat along the way yes we every mother is precious every baby is precious yes, yes. and we're all so unique and our journeys are so different and we yeah. face we all equally face separate challenges as well so do what's right, right for you yeah. in your journey i think you'll agree robin that a lot of these myths probably apply um in some way or another to singletons as well um there's always some sort of challenge or myth or story horror story from someone with breastfeeding i think you'll agree so mm -hmm. i'm going to start with myth number one now this this one 
it does it does make you giggle you will not produce enough to feed breast milk to feed twins me me <laughs> who said that there are lots of people that say this this is and how one do they of know? very common myths how do they know what that unique mother will do and that unique baby will do that's that's a statement that's uh out of order in my in my uh, that doesn't give any mother any encouragement at all it makes her feel you know probably stressed again if she doesn't plan to breastfeed that's fine but it's still not the thing to say you don't talk to women like that you talk with women about the positive things that they uh, could be uh, involved with if they choose to yeah absolutely yeah. And, and i think this is one of those um myths um that actually um applies to singleton babies as well a lot of mm. us are coerced where we are offered fearful information um wrongly um, especially for unique individual situations where we fear that we won't have enough for our precious babies. And we so in Australia are having an enormous uprising of coercion by fear, an enormous uprising of it. Yeah. So, yeah, so uh, it will have to turn around because it can't keep going this way. No, I Cannot keep and, going. And, and I think that we always yeah. like to stress whenever we discuss this topic is that preparation during pregnancy is key because mm -hmm. you will be you will be allowed the time to not only prepare mentally mm. and physically if if necessary but you can educate yourself so that you have the confidence to make those informed decisions and trust in absolutely we're and that's well what the Fox method is all about right yeah. yeah and we're well informed about your rights too because otherwise your rights are just removed from you very very important Oh yeah, especially women. with, with um, birthing and breastfeeding twins, there seems to be a, a much higher risk of intervention um, statistically yes. with that. So absolutely. And a lot of women say that the two things they take away from, from the Thompson Method, aside from the, the wealth of information and the picking of your brain, is is being able to trust your instincts, being allowed to. Oh, without doubt, yeah. And be listening to The yes. professionals need to listen and pick up the cues and pick up that the mother and what her instincts are really saying, and not not um, not uh, put their fear their fear on the mother. Oh, it just makes such a difference. It was a turning yeah. point for us having you just say, or another member of the team just say, "Look, you know, I think you already know the answer to the question. Just mm. trust in yourself, be aware, and, and follow the lead." And and then alongside the education and understanding my rights. Yes, I was I was on absolutely. the right track, and I was able to yeah. do my thing, and and like you say, respectfully decline some things as that was suggested. So that's number one. Number two is tandem feeding is the only way breastfeeding twins is possible. <laughs> well, I, I think Pamela and I would both disagree with that. You know, <laughs> you're feeding two babies, you can choose how you want to feed your two babies. And, as, as you progress and uh, move along and you're more comfortable with things, maybe tandem feeding saves you time, but it doesn't a fit for every mother. So no. we can't make those statements. You know, we have to be very, very, in, very encouraging, very, very considerate is the word I'm looking for, very considerate of her unique needs in her family, her situation. That's so true. And I think, I think it goes to show the lack of education surrounding breastfeeding twins because this is um, one of those common myths that was actually said by professionals, which might shock you or might not shock you, actually, Dr. Robin. Um, but it's, there seems to be a huge lack of knowledge and support, not only for breastfeeding mothers, but in particular for those expecting and, and breastfeeding twins. So mm -hmm. um, if you are expecting twins or you are planning um, and you are planning to breastfeed, considering it, maybe you are breastfeeding newborns now, um, just go with the flow, do it as you need, and do get in touch if you are interested in learning about the resources available, the support available from Dr. Robin and her very special team in the club. Um, I just wanted to add with, with myth two there about breastfeeding tandem. It's lovely to see these tandem pictures, e even with um, two separate singletons, maybe a toddler and a newborn, but it just doesn't mm. work for everyone. I think everyone's journey is so unique. There might be some aversions going on. One me one baby may breastfeed differently to the other. Their needs will be unique as well. So 
I know that you do cover this in detail as well in the online education. Um, but yeah, I just think there's so much pressure to do everything in a certain way, isn't there? Especially Well, you can't make that decision until you, and the mother makes that when she has her babies in her arms. No one else makes that decision. And she works out, and sometimes she might need some gentle guidance, but she works that out as she goes along. And uh, the more respect we have for women and their knowledge and their instincts, then the better that mother will be in her situation, her unique situation. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, number three, I think, as is another one, <clears throat> excuse me, that has also been said to me quite a lot during my breastfeeding journey. Um, I think that breastfeeding, someone said that breastfeeding twins will be too time consuming, you'll be exhausted. I think a lot of us breastfeeding mums have heard this and it, it just blows my mind because being a mother is exhausting <laughs> in general That's anyway. Right. What do you think? It, depends, it depends what each mother wants to do. And having a baby is exhausting you know to going through all the energy that you use in that process over the transitions of pregnancy as your baby is growing during the pre-labor early labor established labor and then for the birth and then afterwards and then you know for for weeks months later it's it's uh, part of a process where uh, we, we humans we are all mammals in the human race we have to grow and develop and we don't reach maturity until we're around about 17. So our yeah. growth and development goes on till then, whether it's one baby, two babies, or three babies. <laughs> and that's for and life, <laughs> beyond breastfeeding. And, yeah. and depending on that, the, the twin pregnancy, you know, they might do similar things, but they might also do quite different things. So, yeah, we, well, I it's, think that's a very more good about going, going with the moment all the time, going in the moment, not trying to be um, too far in advance or or forced to do things that you don't feel good about. Yeah, that's that's something you said to me um, when Jacob was very small. You said just take every feed and every day as it comes, and just remember to be gentle mm -hmm. with yourself. And that was such a supportive message, and one I I hope that the team and and myself does share regularly and. And that is received regularly because it makes a world of difference. And I think the most mm. important part about this myth about um, it being too time consuming, too exhausting, is to remember that it's about choice. If a, if a woman, mm. if a mother, if a person chooses to breastfeed, right. then, then setting that fear about something being negative is it plants that seed. And it's, it's just not entirely helpful. Um, I think the best, best way to be as, as a community, as a family, as a support network is just be supportive, right? Encouraging, mm -hmm. you know, and then... Um, and acknowledge the mother, the mother knows. The mother knows, you know, and, and they've done lots of research and lots of preparation yet, um, and, and the professionals are not always right. They're, they're very, very uh, much needed in a situation where their skills are required. Exactly. But, but in the bigger picture, it's not that often. So, you know, it's very important that the, the woman has the right to do what she wants to do and that we uh, accommodate that and encourage her to do it and we make it easy for her, not hard for her. Yeah, I agree. And mm. and I think, like I said, um, not non-judgmental non support goes, of course. <laughs> goes a long way, yeah. doesn't it? You know? Yeah. And Absolutely. That, that's the wonderful thing about, about our community, I think. So, number four. Yeah. This one as well can be very relatable to every unique breastfeeding journey. And Dr. Robin, this is your area of expertise. So myth number four, breastfeeding twins will be too painful. You won't be able to do it. I've heard this so often. Well, it might be for some women to start with, but once we look at her unique baby, her unique breasts, her unique nipples, and we guide her in the way that she feels comfortable, then, you know, most often it can be reduced pain and then no pain or it can be no pain straight away yeah it just yeah. depends on the circumstances yeah and I think I think that, that applies to each unique breastfeeding journey as well um, mm. some women say oh you should expect pain and um, you have to toughen your nipples up you have to wait for that to pass but breastfeeding doesn't have to be painful breastfeeding twins doesn't have to be painful um, and it's really important that professionals don't professionals think about what they're doing so they don't add to pain Yes, and as your research shows, um, the interruption of those three golden hours and also those forceful, co very common forceful techniques like the cross cradle, for example, mm. um, 
it, it, it is does contribute to nipple trauma and pain and that's what your research study showed as well um, but of course with twins there may be playing a round of the uh, usual positioning and that's why I'm hoping the video from Pamela works because um, as she said it's about fine-tuning it's about having the right support um, and it's about trusting your gut and going with your instincts and I think if you know about positioning and um, I mean the key principles of the Thompson method apply to symmetry um, being able to learn about that in preparation will really, really help get you off to the best mm -hmm. possible start because you'll you'll have that knowledge of anatomy that Dr. Robin so amazingly shared, <laughs> shared with us all. Yes, and we must everything. know what we're doing to the craniocervical spine. We must must know how the oral cavity functions in connection with the, the craniosus and every other part of the body too, but particularly oh, yeah. that. And, and uh, once we understand that, it does make things much easier. That's how I learned about it. And that, that was why I delved into that and learning all that anatomy. And I've done much more since then by learning more anatomy of the oral cavity of the tongue muscle, of the frenula, of all the parts that go with it. Yes. So, and this, this yeah. part is, I mean, separate from the um, public online education I shared with you lovely ladies. There is the mm. professional um, side of the program and there's, of course, the newly launched academy. We have lots of newly qualified Thompson Method educators and practitioners out there in the community with you right now. And they are they are very well versed on the Thompson Method. Dr. Robin and, and Rachel, midwife Rachel Austin, has worked, they've worked tirelessly. I cannot stress how hard they've worked to create this incredible resource for women um, to share in their communities women that are passionate about breastfeeding um, and birthing um, along the same lines as the thompson method and, and, and my team way. my team up there who do make sure all this happens i would not be doing all of this if neither would rachel neither would the, the rest of my team if it wasn't for joanne marie and jackie yeah absolutely they are the one, incredible the, the one <laughs> yes yeah. our bosses <laughs> <laughs> My boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. There's, there's different tiers, huh, to the boss. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it's uh, a very, it's a very special team. Um, I'm sure that we'll all agree. And yeah, it's a very special time for us as, as, as a community, as a team. Um, to see this actually happening, you, you asked for it, ladies. You said we want to see more Thompson, Thompson Method professionals in our areas. We want to be able to communicate with those and it is happening. So get in touch if you'd like to know more. Now, five, bottle feeding is the easiest option. Well, that depends. It might be for some people who believe that and, and it's not necessarily the easiest, but it might be the easiest for them. It's not necessarily easy for the baby either because a lot of things happen um, to the baby's digestive system, but I, I can't go into all of that now because it's an enormous amount of information. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it is, it is, um, it's open-ended. You know, again, uh, there's no set rules, it, and especially with my team and my practice, we don't have rules, and we don't work on mathematics. We don't need to give babies per kilo of body work, no. body weight, an enormous amount of milk because that then just creates one problem after the other. Mm -hmm. So again, it's the unique woman, the unique baby. It's paying attention to what the mother is saying, looking at her with her consent, her body, and helping her what, with what her unique needs are. Um, and, and we learn that as we go along. If I, I hadn't have spent, if I had not have had the privilege of spending my time with thousands of mothers and babies, I would never know what I know now. Yeah. And I think we can yeah. we can repeat quite a lot of what we've already said today. Mm. It's about choice, and then it's about mm. education um, of of mm. rights in particular, so that you can really make an informed decision when, if there is a coercive conversation around weight loss or or some something else that could be concerning, especially as a new mum, especially even as a as as an experienced mum, it is always concerning to hear something that um, isn't ch checking a box, so to speak, for, mm. for our doctors. Of course, they are the professionals. It's hard to sometimes go against it, but it's okay to say, no, I just need a minute to, to think about this, to look into this. Um, it's just such valuable um, advice that you share with us. And, and I think education goes a long way. So bottle feeding might be easier if you choose that. And if that is what is right for you, 
Um, some may argue that breastfeeding is the easiest. You don't have to sterilise bottles. You don't have to um, wait for them to cool down and, and, and mix it up. It's, it's, it's pretty ready where it is. Um, so some may choose to express their breasts and, and, and offer the bottle. Some may choose to do both. It's, there's so many options, isn't there, Dr. Robin? And, and this yes, is and I work on a whole range of information in those options because of the babies that we see that come with complications. Yeah, Absolutely. Because, yeah, because of it. But I'm not saying don't do it. It's always a choice. Yes, and that is why I fell in love with the Tom's Method um, in my very early stages of my breastfeeding journey because I remember Joanne, your daughter, our lovely, our main woman, she said to me, look, we are here to fully support you 100% all the way along. We're not here to judge you or to, to push you in a certain direction. If you want, no. if you... If you want to do something and, and we haven't covered it, then um, then we'll get the information for you. You know, you just have to um, to go with your gut and, and do what works for you. And I think that's that's the wonderful part yeah. of the community is there's information on everything. Bottle feeding, combination feeding, expressing, all done in a safe, gentle way. And of course, um, however you want to do it, we can support you to achieve your goals as well. I need to, um, to let you know that the, the key principles of the Thompson Method do apply to twins. Also, like I said earlier in the video, and um, we would absolutely love to connect with you and hear about your experiences and also to help you as you embark on this very special journey. So get in touch. Congratulations if you are expecting twins. And thank you all for watching. Robin, did you have any last parting words? No, I just appreciate all the wonderful team that we have. I appreciate the women that, you know, come and talk with us and uh, online mostly. But now it used to be I used to visit them all in their homes. <laughs> but I couldn't possibly do that anymore. And, uh, yeah, so I do appreciate all of that because I would not have the knowledge I have now if it wasn't for all of that happening. You know, none of us are, are able to say that we've we're really good at what we do because we've done it all alone we haven't <laughs> no it's that's, that's why i think our our supportive community is such a empowering yeah. tool and and you're saying you're not out there with women anymore but your team are now you oh and it was yeah absolutely and if it wasn't for my three professors who found me at a conference speaking i i would never have been writing a thesis and sharing all my knowledge in that in in that perspective either i never dreamt of that so you know it's so all you have about a very um happened upon yeah. a special journey if you, if you guys yeah. want to hear and learn more about dr robin's journey and how yeah. the thompson method begun it's a beautiful beautiful reaccount and, and that's available on youtube so yeah. do do like and share this video so that we can reach as many twin mums expecting as possible and we will be back next Wednesday, um, hopefully, with another story to tell. So thank you so much. And Robin, you okay. take care. You too. Bye, guys. All the best. Bye.